Uh, joining us now, John Bolton, who is National Security Advisor for the Trump administration, also the former U.N. ambassador under George W. Bush. He's been in the room with top North Korean leaders organizing two meetings between Kim Jong-un and President Trump. Ambassador Bolton, good morning, sir. Glad to be with you. Glad to have you here. We know that you're watching this closely, but we also need your expertise. Vladimir Putin is trying to gain support and restock Russian supplies in the war with Ukraine. Of all places, why would he visit and seek aid from North Korea? Well, I think he has several objectives. Certainly the immediate need for military assistance, which uh, North Korea has already started to provide, uh, is number one on the agenda. But I think there's also a larger issue going on here. The, the Russia-China axis that's been forming uh, over the past year, year and a half in particular, has its outriders like North Korea, like Iran, like Belarus. But, but even as this axis develops, there's tension between Russia and China on a number of fronts. And one of them involves North Korea. You know, North Korea has been essentially uh, uh, under Chinese uh, domination for about the past 25 or 30 years. Uh, and I think what Kim Jong-un, the ruler of North Korea, sees here is an opportunity to get back more between China uh, and Russia, which, which North Korea can then play off to its advantage, as his father and grandfather used to do. To kind of put himself on the level playing field there, what, what role does China play into this meeting and the war as a whole? Well, China has been providing enormous assistance, uh, overt and covert, to Russia uh, ever since the Russian invasion in, in February of 22. Uh, they've dramatically increased purchases of Russian oil and gas. They've helped launder Russian financial assets through the opaque Chinese financial system to avoid sanctions. China has said it's not providing actual weapons. It's just providing all the components for weapons and supporting equipment that Russia can put together. Again, this is all part of this growing cooperation among these powers, very hostile to the United States and the West as a whole. Ambassador Bolden, Mr. Putin is expected to renew what his office calls a strategic partnership between Russia and North Korea. Now, this could mean more resources in between the two nations, but what does that partnership mean for the U.S. and our efforts to defuse tensions in that region? Well, I think it definitely increases the tension. Uh, Kim Jong-un, the ruler of North Korea, has made no secret. He, he actually believes that the Korean Peninsula can be reunified under North Korean control. Uh, I think this growing Russian presence obviously worries Japan, uh, and it should worry the United States. So uh, there's a lot going on here, a lot that uh, still remains unclear. But this is uh, something that Putin and Kim Jong-un see as very much to their mutual advantage. And, and something for us to worry about. Ambassador John Bolton, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Well, thanks again for having me. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.